Going guys, I wanted to make a video about a new remote that I got for my um, Kodi system over there. It's running, uh, it's on LibreElect, which is the operating system. It's like a stripped down Linux that just boots into Kodi directly. So it's like a home theater type system. Um, yeah, you might, you might not be focusing, but yeah, that's my TV right there. Um, so this is the old remote. I've actually bought three of these and they're about, they're kind of expensive. They're about $30 each. Um, I really like these. Um, they are a battery. Uh, I think they take triple A's. Um, this is a Keyspan ER-V2. So Keyspan is a company. ER-V2 is the model. You can tell this one got chewed up by my dog. And I've actually bought three of these. My first one was chewed up by my first dog. Um, sadly, she passed away um, about six months ago. And then um, I've I had two more that I actually had at my sister's home, where they have several home theaters, and they never actually use those. They prefer the keyboards. Um, but those two were there, but they weren't using them. So I just thought, okay, I'll, I brought I brought one here, and then my my I got a new dog about two months ago, and she chewed up my second one. So then I got the third one. And then like the next day, she chewed it up, um, and it was kind of me or my wife's fault for leaving it out on the couch but um um this one is fairly chewed up i probably could have taken some of the parts from the second one um i'm not sure if i kept them but i probably could repair them if i really wanted to this one at this point doesn't work at all um i think something over here where it sends a signal died but yeah I, this is actually it looks like an infrared um remote because if you look at the other one it looks like there's infrared coming up but this is actually um um, this is actually a radio frequency remote, so an RF remote is the adapter. Um, but it's uh, this is a piece of garbage at this point, so just keeping around to show uh, what I had. I, I like this one. It's a, it's like a Microsoft remote. Um, has all the media keys you would need. I mean, the main ones you use in Kodi, I would say, would be power to turn it on, um, directional pad with an OK, back button. Um, you rarely will use information, rarely use the me this little menu key. Um, mute, I never use mute. Um, volume up and down, obviously you use a lot. Um, the rest of the features I don't use because I don't use PVR, like I don't use channel up, I don't use record, any of those things. Um, you can use these or you can just press okay and do the same thing, like stop, um, play pause. I never use fast forward, I never use fast forward or reverse because you can just use the up and down or left and right keys. Um, skip, I never use that, you can just, um, um, I guess that would be if you did a playlist of some sort. I, I don't do that, but um, something I could do in the future. Anyway, this this remote has a, pretty much all the keys and more that you'd ever need, and I really like it because it fits well in the hand. Um, it's radio frequency, um, not infrared, and um, works with Cody really well. You just plug it in, and it's seen, a, seen as a remote or a keyboard. But this is a new remote, um, and this is actually from the company it's, i think it's a company that makes osmc it's like very similar to libra elect it's like um the same kind of concept but i think they actually have their own box that they sell as well but there's a remote they make um it's not perfect uh, i'll show some of the things i noticed with it this little thing doesn't seem like it was designed well there's one clip holding it in over here and like just some plastic over here so it has a tendency to kind of push out. So I just figured I might as well do that so it doesn't come out. Um, the battery inside is one of those little watch batteries. Um, and we'll see what that battery li life is. Um, I assume it should be fine. Those watch batteries usually last pretty long for this kind of application where it's not being used often. Um, otherwise, you can. Uh, it's also a radio frequency. The adapter is plugged into my um, system over there. The buttons feel great. Just like, they feel good here. They're a little mushy, but Pretty decent. Um, I just like the way this feels in the hand, but I'm actually getting more used to this. This feels very similar to like an Apple remote. Um, these buttons are for great because they push outwards. Um, now there are some downsides. So this pretty much has everything you would need for the most part. So directional and okay work great. There's a home button, information, all of these work out of the box. Um, this was designed for Cody, so it works really well. Uh, and let me sell you the price. This was about, these are about 30. You can sometimes get them down to like maybe 25, but usually about 30. And they're not very common. I don't think they make them anymore. These you can get for about 25, but these are usually coming from Europe. Um, so I had to take, it took a little bit longer for me to get them. 
I think if you buy it on eBay, buy it in bulk, you might be able to get them for 20. I don't know why you need them in bulk unless you have multiple home theaters, but um, that's what I was thinking for my sister's house. But in the end, they don't use it that often. I might as well just get them cheap, $10 wireless keyboards, um, because that probably would work better for them anyway. But um, any system I would use, I would I like a nice remote. So um, yeah, and this fits 90% of all the stuff I like. So directional pad, uh, home button I use, information rarely used, menu button um, I do use when you're like doing some stuff to media, um, back button, very essential. Play pause um, is useful uh, and stop is useful to stop your media. So these two are useful. Um, forward and backward, fast forward and backwards, I really don't get the point of in Kodi um, because you can just do up and down or left and right. Um, but this, as you can tell, this remote doesn't have a volume button and I need volume because if you see right there, when I change the volume, it actually changes on my receiver. I have a um, USB CEC adapter, so it sends over HDMI, it sends a signal to my receiver to change the volume. And actually, actually when I turn this off, the system off, it'll turn off my receiver and my TV as well. Um, it'll send a signal over CEC. So what I actually did was I remapped uh, in the, uh, I'll walk over to my computer and show it, but I remapped these to the volume buttons, um, which is pr fairly simple. I also, this also doesn't have a power button, which is kind of annoying. So you'd have to navigate to the power button and then go to here, this little shutdown menu. Um, but what I did instead was I just mapped the home button. Whenever you're on the home screen, I mapped it to the shutdown menu. And I'll show you how I did that. So here you can see, you know, you go into a media, you press the home button, uh, it just goes to the home menu. Let me go into a TV show so it goes into a deeper. Um, deeper menu, so we'll go into a season. So here, you know, you're several menus in, but you press the home button, it should just go straight home. But then if you press the home button again on the home screen, it opens up the shutdown menu. So what it does is it always gets, you're always two buttons away from shutting down your system. Home button, and then shutdown menu. Now I personally always go to suspend. Now I think if I push suspend, it'll suspend it. You can see it shut everything off. It, you heard the little click, that's my receiver shutting off and my TV is off as well. Um, and then I'll wake it up too. Any button on here will wake it up. It just sends a signal to that USB and it will wake it up. And you can see it's over at CEC, it turned everything on again. My receiver, you heard the click and my TV is on. Um, so now from now on, I think when I press the home button, it'll be on suspend. So unless I reboot my system. I was trying to play with getting it to always focus on suspend. I couldn't get that to work. I was also trying to play with pressing the home button on here and it'll always just shut down, but I couldn't get any of those commands to work. I don't know if it has to do with me using CEC. Um, but anyway, um, that's pretty much it. Let me show you how I map those buttons. So the main things I mapped is forward and backwards. I just mapped the volume. So it always is volume. Home button I mapped um, when on the home screen to open up the shutdown menu and then you can just shut down your system. Okay, let me, uh, let me show how I did that. You can tell I did a, this has been like a month long project. Uh, it's probably gonna be another month to get all the trim in or a few weeks, but I had carpet before. I put in um, vinyl plank flooring. It's nearly done. Um, you can tell on my, uh, in my uh, wiring closet. I just did that today, but um, it looks pretty nice. I haven't done the trim yet, trim yet obviously, but um, it's nice. I think it actually is gonna make things cooler because you can see it's much lower than the old carpet. Um, it, this stuff's actually really thin. Uh, you can see right there, it's super thin. And it feels great. It feels like a kind of a plasticky feel, but it actually feels better than wood in my opinion, less slippery. Um, but you can see there's a huge gap for air to go through now. So I think that'll help. Um, my system hasn't been overheating at all lately. I, I put in um, Noctua fans a few months back when I was having some issues with a motherboard. I just replaced everything with Noctua fans. Oh, you can see here it is for 26 bucks on Amazon. I bought it on eBay for about the same, but I had eBay money. Um, here is my um, my current, oh, let's see if I can get that to focus. Here's my current um, uh, key map file. So I have key map, global, remote, and then I, forward, I put volume up, reverse, I put volume down. So that's to get the volume buttons on that remote. And then, um, this is what I did here. I said in the home area, so not global, but in the home area, keyboard and then key, and then it happens to be ID 37. I just had to do the debug and press that button to see what it was popping up as. 
and then I have activate win window shutdown menu. So you can see when it's on the home screen and when the shutdown menu is open, it actually doesn't, it, it will, it acts as the home button again. So um, it's no longer in this area, I believe. That I think there's a shutdown area as well, but um, that's my key map file right now. Um, those are the modifications I made. I feel like it works pretty well. I wish that button acted more like a power button, that home button. Uh, but I'm not complaining the, the remote feels great in the hand. Um, I, I personally like it more than the, um, um, than my key span one that I had before. I think it feels a little bit better. And, um, I like that it's simpler. There's less buttons to confuse someone. Um, you know, pretty much all the stuff you use. So this really was designed for Cody. And if I was to get another one, I definitely would, would get one of these. So yeah, that's my review of these, uh, OSMC remote. Um, hope you enjoyed this video. I'll see you guys later.